Hello guys, welcome back to Chubby Chemistry Study. So I know by now you are scared of jam. You are you you'll be like, oh my god, I don't want to feel jam this year. God, please help me this year. I want to enter school this year. Don't worry, calm down. In this video, we're gonna be talking about five things that may cause people to fail their exam, like five reasons why people fail their exam. People failed their exam last year or last two years not because they are not smart or intelligent, but they did certain things that they should have avoided earlier. So in this video, we're going to be talking about five things that cause people to fail their jam. So ensure to watch this video till the end so you don't miss any points. And also, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button because I'll keep on updating you on what you need to do before you take your jam. And also, what you need to do after you have taken your jam and gotten your jam score. So that's why you need to like this video and also subscribe so that you don't miss any of my video, guys. Let's get straight to it. Okay, number one reason why people fail their jam is fear. Fear is like the main reason why people fail their jam. Like someone like me now, once I'm scared of an exam or once I'm scared inside the wall, I'll just forget everything I've studied. Like to, to remember all I've, that I've studied will be difficult. So that's why you need to conquer your fear before entering the jam hall. So this is what you need to do. On that day of your jump exam, please, anything that you can do to eliminate your fear, do it. If it involves playing, go and play on that day. Like when you're in that jump center, if, if the, uh, your own way of relaxing yourself and eliminating fear is by playing, go and play a bit before you enter the hall. If your own way of eliminating fear is by eating before entering the hall, go and eat before you enter the hall. Fear can cause you to fail your jam. Okay, that this, this thing happened to me when I took my own uh, second jam. Um, did I say second jam? Sorry, I mean my first jam. So, there is this particular question on the radioactivity. I've seen that question in past question, and I'm sure I know that question, but out of fear, I was scared on, ah, what should I do now? What should I not do? That's how I forgot how to solve that question. And surprisingly, I failed that question. But when immediately I came out of the hall, I remembered everything about that. I even remember the answer without solving it. So, fear can actually hinder you from passing your jam exam. Please, Try and eliminate fear. Anything that will cause you to be scared of that exam, try and eliminate it before you enter the hall. If it involves making friends before entering the hall, try and make friends before you enter the hall so that at least if you feel just with the person before entering the hall, that can help you eliminate fear. Okay, so the second reason why people fail their jam is inability to manage your time. Time management is one of the most important things in jam. If you don't know how to manage your time, there is no way on this earth you'll be able to pass your jam. Jam is like, like I, I, I keep on saying this, jam when I dreams, jam is very easy. But if you're not able to manage your time, there is no way you be able to pass your jam. That's why I always say, don't spend more than 45 seconds on any question. Then even if you want to try that question over and over again, don't spend past one, hour, um, one minute, 30 seconds on that, any question, whether it be it calculation or any cal uh, non-calculation, don't spend pa uh, more than one minute, 30 seconds on any question. You know, uh, for each subject, you have to answer each subject under 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And English has 60 questions, while the rest has only 40 questions. So you have to spend each, uh, spend 30 minutes on each subject. So that's why I would also advise you to start with the subject you know the best. Try to that subject that you know the best. Try and solve the questions on that subject within uh, under 30, uh, 15 minutes. And then the remaining 15 minutes, you can now add it to solve questions on the subject that you don't know at all hope you understand okay so the next reason why people feel jam is over savvy lifestyle you feel very smart you feel be like you always take first in your class and you now go and take that mentality to jam ball oh my god i savvy i over savvy over confidence you now go to jam you not even read your questions well you just be picking answers because say you think say you savvy jam go humble you try calm down Jam is very easy, but if you carry over Sabi enter hall, jam will humble you. Try and calm down. Jam is very easy, but don't do I know it all. So that's it. Okay, so the next thing is the inability to read your equations and options correctly. You know, I always say this. Take note of not and accept questions. Because you can say, oh, you can just read the first line and second line. Now leave this third line and say, I'm going to choose any answer. The answer may not be correct. And also the question may be asking you, which of these is not. And because you didn't read that deadline, you now go and choose the wrong answer. Please ensure to read the whole questions correctly. Like, read the whole questions without omitting anything. And then also read the whole options. Read option A, read option B, read option C, read option D. Don't say, oh, I was now read the question, now go and pick option A immediately without looking at the rest. 
Because you know sometimes there are two answers that can be correct, but you need to choose the one that is the best. Hope you understand. So ensure to read your equations correctly and also read the whole options. Hope you understand. Okay, so the next thing is um, the fifth reason why people fail their jam is unpreparedness and also inability to use the computer. So if you don't know how to use your computer system by now, please go and watch YouTube videos on how to choose answers on the jam uh, on your system, how to pick your answers and the rest. Please do so before you enter the hall. And also, if you are not yet prepared now, go and start solving your past question. It's very important. Even if you have not read anything, go and so start solving your past question. The truth is that if you have not started studying by now, there is no way you'll be able to get to 80, 300. But at least you can still pass your jam if you have not even studied anything right now. Go and carry your past question and start solving questions. I love you guys, and that will be the end of the video for today.